All right, after um, working all weekend on and off, I've got the top of the hood prepped. As you see the uh, video from earlier today, I did the uh, vinegar and water three to one solution. Uh, the rust has turned a nice dark color. Had a little bit of an orange haze on it. I'm gonna wipe it off with paper towel, uh, with some stock towels right quick, sort of like a, a tack cloth. They aren't the high dollar tack cloths because I'm not doing a finished coat on it. I'm just gonna put some uh, epoxy down. And I'm um, gonna just wipe the dust off of it real quick. I uh, don't have any fans running in here right now. Um, gonna do a quick coat so it shouldn't be a big deal. I'll do the first one and we'll see how long it takes to flash over and how much I have left in my garage and if it's get bad enough then I can I've got some attic stairs right there and I can set my um, I can set my floor fan it fits in there nice and it'll be able to ventilate it pretty quick so I'm um, getting ready to start the uh, to, to, to mix the primer and the yeah the primer and the catalyst it's got a 30 minute induction period it is 88 degrees in here, so I don't think it's going to take that long. You said you can wait. It says you can wait up to an hour for uh, if you're painting at 70, uh, 70 degrees, and I'm at 88. So I'm going to do 30 minutes, get it started, wipe down one more time, and then we'll blast it. So I'll check back in with you. There it is. Before. All right, I just uh, mixed the, um, the primer and the catalyst. It's a one-to-one -one primer catalyst, so using my scale cup, I went up to four with the primer and up to four with the catalyst. I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes, um, wait for it to, wait for the induction period to finish up, um, and then I'll pour my cup. I did wanna show you guys real quick. Um, I bought this, uh, uh, it's the Harbor Freight Harbor Freight spray gun. They had a couple. Um, I forget what pressure. Uh, this is a six nine seven zero five. And when I was online, I was doing some research on these, um, and I noticed some people had complained about the fact that these guns leak around here. Now, what this looked like? It looks like a machined flare fitting. Um, that they've uh, that they've got for the female male but what I did to eliminate that is I went to Home Depot and purchased a box of o-rings and the o-rings are like two bucks and I'll show you the uh, the label in a minute I've got my filter in there um, let's see if we can see this down inside yeah so I purchased these o-rings one of them isn't, just one o-ring is not thick enough to actually get the seal between the uh, the female fitting here and the male fitting right here, okay? Um, so I've got two of them in there. And the thing about it is you really want to be careful because if you over tighten, then you'll just squeeze the o-ring out of the way and you're not doing any good. Um, but if you can see two of them in there or not. But what's nice about it, it's, a, it's the perfect fit because you still have that... Um, you still have that machined surface, the flared surface um, for the connection, but then you've also right before like maybe a thread or a half a thread before it seats, you get this nice just a tiny bit of resistance um, between, uh, between the cup and the fitting here so you can feel it just when it starts to tighten up. Um, so I did, like I said, I went and, and went to Home Depot and got some O-rings for that. Hang on a second, and I will see if I can find the label for it. Yeah, they're in the plumbing department, and it's a number nine O-ring. And they are 58 OD by 7 at 7 16th ID. And if you do the math, that means they're 330 seconds of an uh, they're 330 seconds thick. Uh, it'd be best if you had like a nice thick number nine or a nice thick O-ring that was 58 OD. Um, and then just maybe like uh, 7 sixteenths, it would be uh, 30 sixteenths, 17 30 seconds on the inside. So that'd be a little bit of thicker o ring, but uh, these seem to work okay. Like I say, I've got them doubled up on there, 
and uh, I've already sprayed some lacquer thinner through my gun and the lacquer thinner did not leak out nor was the uh, flow hampered because again you've got the filter in here so the filter keeps the o-rings centered uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, that, uh, that I did see online where this particular gun uh, they were having issues with it leaking at the tank and the gun itself so that was one solution that I came up with and this is the uh, cheapo Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic gun like I said it's part number 69705 I think and I can't even yeah 69 pretty sure that's a 9 6 9 I don't think it's a six. It could be a six eight. You know, they could make them a little bit bigger, but they don't. Oh, here we go. Woo, boom. It is. It's a six nine seven oh five. Uh, this is the one that they were talking about having the trouble with the tank ceiling. So, just a note. And I'm gonna wait for the induction period to finish up, and then I'm getting ready to load this thing down and get ready to start spraying. Mm -hmm.